Hello everyone and welcome to Rental Trader YouTube channel. I'm Margot and you are in the right place if you are looking for insider knowledge on the vacation rental industry. Whether you're a host or an investor, you are absolutely gonna wanna stay tuned for this one. We'll be discussing a topic that can make or break your success in the industry. Choosing the right vacation rental market. It's a big deal to spend your hard earned savings on a vacation rental property. That's why it is so crucial to do your research on various markets before investing. When you have plenty of data on your side, the odds that your investment will pay off increase dramatically. It's no longer like buying a lottery ticket and just hoping for the best. It's more like getting insider knowledge before you make the bet. If you were only going to take the time to research one thing, then that one thing should be regulations. Considering there are some areas where it's actually illegal to run a vacation rental, you can run into major trouble if you invest before looking into this. Worst case scenario, you spend everything you have on an amazing property only to find that you can't legally run it as a vacation rental. There are three levels of market strictness in terms of regulations. Relaxed, moderate, and stringent. Relaxed markets have minimal regulations and getting a permit is often as easy as making a five minute phone call or logging your vacation rental address on a government website. Moderate markets are still easy for investors to work with. Even though they have more regulations, those regulations are manageable and stable. Finally, stringent markets have strict regulations that are constantly changing. Getting a permit in these markets is a mission in and of itself, and even when you've secured one, it can be taken away just like that as new regulations are passed. Now, a quick word about market maturity. The longer vacation rentals have been a part of the local economy, the more mature a market is. Mature markets have had time to reach equilibrium between vacation rentals and hotels, and between short-term rental investors and permanent residents in the area. Because of this balance, regulations are usually relaxed or moderate. But if you come across a market where vacation rentals are a relatively new part of the economy, it likely hasn't had enough time to find that balance and become mature. As a result, you are much more likely to run into volatile regulations. Eww. Let's go ahead and get into the three market types that you'll wanna consider as an investor or host. There are the metro markets, the regional vacation markets, and the national vacation markets. Metro markets are huge metropolitan areas like NYC and Los Angeles. They attract plenty of visitors, but they also have lots of industry outside of tourism. Metro markets usually have stringent regulations because there is fierce competition between vacation rentals and hotels, and permanent residents are ready to duke it out with short-term rental investors. That's right. New anti-short-term rental legislation is passed constantly, but on the bright side, if you can manage to get and retain a permit in a metro market, you'll have a diverse pool of guests and the opportunity for incredible cash flow. Regional vacation markets are areas that are 100% financially dependent on tourism, like Gatlinburg, Tennessee and Panama City Beach, Florida. Most tourists arrive by car and these markets do really well even during recessions because they're both affordable and accessible. If you're looking for a stable investment, then a regional vacation market should be at the top of your list. National vacation markets are cities like Honolulu, Hawaii, and Orlando, Florida. They're prime destinations for big family vacations and honeymoons, and tourists usually arrive by plane. National markets are dependent on tourism and often have moderate regulations. You can make tons of money from vacation rentals in a national market during an economic boom, but of the three markets, national ones are the first to suffer during downturns or depressions. Once you've identified a few potential markets, you'll need to collect as much tourism data as possible to decide which is best for you. You can start by checking out the local Department of Tourism and finding year-over-year -year figures from conference centers, tourist attractions, hotels, universities, theme parks, and the National Park Service. Next, you can assess your potential income from a market by looking at data from MASHVisor, Key Data, and AirDNA. Major national property managers like Evolve and Vacasa have their own proprietary data that'll also be helpful. But a word to the wise, try to avoid data sources that don't take information from the major booking platforms into account. Got it? Good. 
Hey, and speaking of booking platforms, you are definitely gonna wanna list your vacation rental on Rental Trader once you have finished your research and made your investment. Rental Trader is different from other listing sites because we're focused on keeping travel affordable for everyone. So you are not gonna find any ridiculous fees on our platform, no way. We have a single host fee of 4.5% per booking and that's it. No guest fees, no asterisks, no fine print, just a single fee that will not destroy your bottom line. So come on over and join the vacation rental revolution at rentaltrader.com. It is quick, it's easy, and it's totally free to list your property. Hey, if you like this video and you wanna see more content like this, then please do us a favor, give us a thumbs up, and do not forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Share this video with your friends and your fellow vacation rental hosts. And uh, until next time, stay safe, stay positive, and say yes to adventure.